Hey, I'm Q. RuPaul, and welcome to Lesson 33 in our Spanish series for beginners. Hopefully you've been taking these lessons from number one because, well, each lesson builds on the one before. And if you've been doing that correctly, you know it's been a little while since we had a mega verb. And that's a verb we're going to be using in a lot of different circumstances, lessons, things like that. Well, we have one today. Ready? The verb is poner. Now, this is the infinitive or unchanged version. This verb can have different meanings depending on how you use it, and we're going to be talking about that more in future lessons. But the main definition is to put, and that's how we're going to be using it today. All right, let's go ahead and move this class to the big screen. I'm going to be putting a lot of examples up. We're going to begin by learning how to conjugate this verb in the simple past tense, also known as the preterite. I don't want to bog you down with a bunch of conjugations to memorize, so we're going to continue to follow our pattern of just learning the first and second person because, well, I'm involved with every conversation I'm in, and I'm usually talking to one other person. So it'd be, yo puse, tu pusiste. One of the reasons I decided to start with the past tense is because we're going to be learning how to ask someone where they put something. Now, my wife and I speak both English and Spanish at home, and she has a tendency to put my things away in places where, well, I don't know where they are. So I'm constantly asking her, ¿Dónde pusiste? Where did you put blank? For example, ¿Dónde pusiste mis zapatos? Where did you put my shoes? All right, now it's your turn. Let's say you want to translate this sentence. I put them under the bed. Hopefully you've been following my recommendation and you've taken all of the previous lessons in order. If you have, then this sentence isn't that tough. Let's start with them. Them is referring to shoes. That's a direct object pronoun. You learned about those back in lessons 19 and 20. So what about the next part of the sentence? Under the bed. Well, if you paid attention back in lesson 21 when I covered spatial relationships, this shouldn't be a problem. So let's put it all together and translate our sentence. Los puse debajo de la cama. I put them under the bed. If you had trouble translating that one, you may want to go back and review those previous lessons before moving on in the course. Here are two more for you to try. You can stop the video if you want to take some time with them. Where did you put the towels? I put them on top of your suitcase. Where did you put the towels? ¿Dónde pusiste las toallas? I put them on top of your suitcase. Las puse encima de tu maleta. I'm going to take a moment to dissect this sentence just for those people that are having a little problem with direct object pronouns. Now, in the first sentence, we're talking about the towels, las toallas. So, in the second sentence, we're talking about them, referring to the towels, so it's las. Here, go ahead and try two more sentences. Where did you put my keys? I put them in the bathroom. Now, why the keys in your bathroom, I don't know. Don't try to overanalyze the sentences, just translate them. Here are the answers. Where did you put my keys? ¿Dónde pusiste mis llaves? I put them in the bathroom. Las puse en el baño. Let's make it a bit more interesting and work in some other things from previous lessons. I'm cold. Do you know where my jacket is? I put it in the car. Now, if you need to look up one word like jacket, that's okay but don't translate the whole sentence in Google Translate. Let's take a look at the answers. I'm cold. Do you know where my jacket is? Tengo frío. ¿Sabes dónde está mi chamarra? I put it in the car. La puse en el carro. Now, if you had a different word for jacket, let's say you put chaqueta, or a different word for car, used coche, or something similar, that's fine. But the rest of the sentences should look like these. If they do, pat yourself on the back because these few sentences are testing things we covered in multiple lessons. Take a look. All right, let's try another one. I want to put my jacket in the car. Do you know where it is? I already put it in the car. Let's see how you did. I want to put my jacket in the car. Do you know where it is? Quiero poner mi chamarra en el carro. ¿Sabes dónde está? I already put it in the car. Ya la puse en el carro. Well, that's it for today. 
As usual, I encourage you to go out and practice your Spanish as much as you can. Make up some of your own sentences. If you go to kuru.us, you'll find um, exercises for this particular lesson. That'll give you some extra practice. Hasta luego.